What's good, you guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Alina Smith. I'm a producer and writer for projects like Itzy, Red Velvet, Produce 101, Fall Out Boy, Betty Who, and many others. And today I'm going to be trying a production challenge. So I got kind of inspired by a video from a different type of content creator. For those of you guys that don't know, um, I'm kind of obsessed with The Sims. <laughs> I really, really love playing The Sims. I love watching videos from people that play The Sims. So one of my favorite Sims creators, she's made these challenges several times where she spins the wheel for the kind of Sims house that she has to build. You know, she like spins it and gets different styles suggested. Oh, this room needs to be modern. This room needs to be like storybook decor, like all this different stuff. So I thought <laughs> I would try this for music production. So what I did here is I created my own wheel with many different types of instruments on here. So as you can see, some of them are pretty like common instruments like saxophone, pad, vocal chop. <laughs> Others are not so common. A hurdy-gurdy, a cow horn, banjira, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that sounds like. <laughs> a toy piano. You know, we've got some interesting choices in here. So what I thought I would do is I would spin this three times. First time I would do it at the beginning of the track, then once like at the middle point and once like towards the end. And I would do this in an hour. <laughs> so whatever this wheel suggests to me, I have to use it and I have to try to make this as good of a track as I can. And this could be a disaster <laughs> or it could be great, it could be cool. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, I like to make my life difficult uh, unnecessarily so. But I'm kind of excited to get into this. I've never done anything like this before. Um, so yeah, let's just without further ado, jump straight into this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't really wanna get the cow horn or um, the Banjira or the Cora or any of the things I'm not really that familiar with, but you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So three, two, one, let's go. A, a theremin. Uh, I almost feel like I miss. Uh, uh, a theremin is like one of the worst sounding instruments. It's I don't know if you guys know it, but it's like wee wee. wee. No, <laughs> I did not want to make a track with a theremin. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is great. This is. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop freaking, I'm going to stop freaking out. And what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to start that timer, which now seems very ill-advised that I've decided to do this on top of this challenge, but it's okay. We carry on. So what I'm going to do actually is I am going to go on splice and I'm going to look for theremin samples and I'm going to try to find something like the least weird thing. <laughs> and maybe what I can also do to kind of cheap, but not really, is maybe I can cut up the theremin and turn it into almost like a vocal chop type vibe to where you can't really tell that it's the wee wee. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go so fast for this. Theremin, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we could just have a fade in the beginning of the track made out of a theremin. That's actually pretty good. But I am, I should really like that. That's kind of fun. We could create, I, I just thought theremins were like wee wee, but I guess if it's lower, it's not so bad. Now that's what I was talking about, like ghost vibes. Not for me, honey. It's a no for me, dog. That's not so bad. You know what? Okay, I like that one. What I'm gonna do, I could have just copped out and kind of just used the sweep and been like, okay, I'm done. I've used the theremin, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make this whistly theremin sort of like the theme of my track because I think I can cut it up and make it cool. 
or you know maybe I'm overconfident. <laughs> we will find out. Uh, it's in 120. Let's just go with that. Um, let's hear this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking maybe like do that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think that's 120 BPM though, so let's tap that out. Yeah, it's like a total, total mid-tempo vibe. Let me take this off because I'm going to be totally cutting it up and let's go to 170. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm totally not going to have time to finish this or make this remotely anything usable or good, but you know, <laughs> it's life. <laughs> what are you going to do? I actually like the wobble, so maybe we start right here. And let's actually, let me go ahead and add like a kicks and a snare. And boom, here we go. Two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. Okay, should be good enough, fine. I was really off, but you know, that's why we have quantize hunty. Whew. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's totally okay. Everything is fine. Now let's just get a snare. That's fine, it's good, actually really good one. Good, and then we just quantize her and bum 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 bum. Here we go. And then back to the theremin. <laughs> Ooh, it's so ugly. Um, <laughs> you got, I'm sweating, okay. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 is what I'm here from. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe I just go ahead and do this. From, 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 right? It's gonna be like here. Oh, it's so high. Maybe I can drop an octave, that might be nice. And then this will be like here. Okay. I do think it's just so freaking high. Mm. Okay, that's actually really cool. I'm gonna just repeat that because that note is clipping. I actually really like don't hate it in this register whatsoever. And I'm just gonna maybe, yeah, yeah, just a little bit of them. Uh, and maybe this one could be a reverse. Uh, not much of a difference. No. And then the same room on this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe not as much. You know what, guys? I'm not hating this. I actually don't hate it, which is freaking amazing. Like, how do I not hate this? It's theremin. Okay, and let's do... Let's do some sort of effects on this. I'm almost kind of wanting to like pull in Shaper Box, which has like a lot of really great things. Like we can add some noise to it maybe. Maybe we do like the um, key rattle. This is a great plugin from uh, uh, Shaper Box by Cable Guys. Recommend it. Like this kind of key thing is, it's, I know it's really loud right now, but maybe like, like It's kind of interesting. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, it's actually kind of fun though. It definitely makes it a lot more interesting. I, hmm, I don't know if I like. Maybe we do a little bit of bit crushing too. Just, just mute this for a second. Whoa, that's actually kind of cool. What if we just do like a little bit less of that? Where's the mix? That's actually not bad. You, that's really not so bad. And we maybe we do like a this kind of vibe right here. That's not so bad. I don't. A little bit of this to me is like. It's really cool, but a part of me also is like, ooh, it's kind of makes it almost sounds like, sound like a guitar. It was kind of cool on its own before. Maybe I do a little bit of a movement. Mm. Mm, 
It's a lot. Okay, guys, I don't really have time to experiment right now. I gave myself 45 minutes. That was a mistake. Maybe a little bit of drive, just a touch. <laughs> Okay, maybe I just need a little reverb on it. <laughs> oh Lord, and of course I can't like type anything correctly because I'm on a timer and whenever I'm on a timer, I, can, I forget how to like spell things. Not so bad. Maybe put a doubler on it. Uh, I think we need like less verb to be, it's just like, like oh. Oh. And then this, I think, ba 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 ba, these need to drop another 12, so minus 24. Oh, that's not so bad, that's not so bad. I definitely think, or maybe we do a little bit of like an EQ thing on a two, like. Oh. It's not so, it's, there's definitely, ugh, there's some nasties going on frequency-wise in here. Bothering me, but it's okay. Oh, you know what it might be fun on this erosion? Ugh, me trying to like sound design this theremin. <sighs> Actually, maybe no verb with this. Maybe just like a touch. Just a little touch. It's not so bad. Let me put, some, put a limiter on it because a couple of these frequencies also, let me just go ahead and pro cue this because there's a couple of frequencies that are just like, like that one right there. She's not, she's not okay. I don't like her. Yeah, you, bye. <laughs> Much better. Okay, this is not so bad, you guys. It's definitely like almost, almost cool. <laughs> it's not really cool. It's like, you know, I'm struggling a little bit, but it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, what? how are you doing on time? Boy, 10 minutes have already gone by and I have three stems. That is not good for a time challenge, Alina. <laughs> but I'm gonna look for some progression in this tempo. Like, yeah, definitely hot, okay. Yeah, yeah. I still hate it though. I still hate the theremin. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I, like I think it's just not. This it's not a good sounding sound. <laughs> Say that five times faster. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I just kind of vinyl it. <laughs> what if we tremolate it? I am just like pulling out every trick that I know to try to make it less ugly. <laughs> I actually kind of don't hate that. Now it's more sounding like kind of like a robot voice almost. Almost like a vocal too. I don't hate that. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for now. <sighs> okay. So let's go ahead and write an 808 because this is like a trappy vibe clearly. So, and boom. I actually hear like a really cool rhythmic transition. I hear kind of like dum ta 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 boom. Like this. Ta 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 boom. I think so. And then our snare needs to do the same thing. Like. And we take the hats out. Yeah. All right. That's good. Okay. 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 Let's spin for our next. Instrument. A violin. How does a violin go with this? Okay, you know what? All right, all right, all right, all right. We're not gonna put it in the section. We're gonna make a pre-chorus section and then we're going to, you know, put the violin in there. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna say these are the two verses that we've got. Let me just grab one more percussive thing because I'm gonna like feel really stupid just repeating this. Uh, what is this, 170? Let's see. 
Ooh. Wait, actually. I kind of think that's really cool for the transition. We just need to maybe put something on it to make it less like live drummer. Maybe this uh, vinyl just for now. I love that. Maybe just like shorten some of the hits, make it like a little more electronic. Hey, that's cool. That's fun, that's fun, that's fun. It's totally not necessary. I'm just putting off the violin, to be honest, like being real with you guys. <laughs> putting off, having to figure out the violin. Um, but I should, I should just really wanted like a little more percussion. Hey, it's awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, yeah. And then, okay, this is where we would transition to the pre-chorus. And I'm gonna just go ahead and pull in some kind of piano because I'm gonna play some chords. And then I'm probably gonna change it into violin, to be honest. <laughs> And here we go. Dun 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 But you know, that's not, not half bad. I expected it to be like so much messier. All right, that's, and then just clean up the notes. Oh God, I don't have time to clean up messy playing, girl. Oh man, all right, let's put this on like one fourth notes, literally, because I just don't wanna have to clean this up. All right, whoop and loop. And blue. All right, this is, should be good. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do to make this a violin is <laughs> I'm gonna just go get a violin. So yeah, this took two minutes to load, so I'm adding that at the end. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and add myself two extra minutes right now. 20 minutes? No, it ain't. It's 22. Reset. Let's do 22. And let's go. Because <laughs> that wasn't fair. <laughs> okay, so we do have these violins. Let's hear what they sound like. They sound okay, you know, it is definitely one of those things where I'm not trying to have a big orchestra section. Like usually what I use this for, this plugin, is when I'm actually like orchestrating. <laughs> um, um, this trap situation here does not need this. So you know what? I'm going to put pumper on it to make it like a little more EDM. Maybe not that much, maybe on the second. You know, this kind of vibe. And I'm just gonna go ahead immediately and double this with an 808 down below. There we go. And then also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I have this preset that I've made called Make Me Old. It's just like aging, you know, like wow, flutter effects, like all these different things. Immediately that sounds better. Yeah, and this is where I'd have like, you know, like little pretty plucks and like maybe some kind of, uh, I don't know, like, I want to say like bell, arp or something like that. Something like really pretty like that. Let me go ahead and look for a bell. Um, I, prob I probably have some that I've pre-made. That one's okay. That sounded actually really nice to me. That could even probably, well, first quantize, and then it could probably go up an octave, I'm gonna guess, um, like this. Yeah, I just wanna like have a lot of random delays and stuff. Yeah, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Maybe pan it too, so it's kind of traveling around. Then we definitely need some percussion here. 
<laughs> no time left, Theremin. <laughs> Let's just kind of look at around this BPM and just see what we can find drum wise. Um, just drums. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we can have definitely a, a build, like an EDM build. Whoa, yeah, this is pushed in a way that's incorrect. I just noticed that it has to be on the top of the bar. And then the 808 is mistaken as well. <laughs> um, here we go. No, it's like this. It's like this. Here we go. Uh, I would actually have this like this. Yeah. Yeah, and then it would just cut off right there. Okay, beautiful. You know what? This is not horrible. <laughs> it's not the best track I've ever made, but, you know, it's not terrible. So that's exciting, considering I got theremin. <laughs> so uh, let's spin for our last instrument. Let's do it. How much time do I have left? 16 minutes. You know what? We're killing it. <laughs> let's go. Watch, I'm going to get something so bad. Eight oh eight club girl, this is easy. Oh, this is so easy. I'm just literally gonna add one to this pre-chorus, going like this, boom, girl, or just or to the chorus, like with the snare. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so nice. I'm so glad I got like only one super weird thing. You know, strings, cause strings wasn't that weird. Violin, yeah, like this is fine. Like, this is completely fine. Yeah, I think we can just have this, like, in the pre, like, super verbed. Here. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Hey. And then we just go straight into our section with our theremin again, but bigger. <laughs> You know, you know how it'd be. <laughs> you know what? That's not so bad, like, dynamically. I'm still not <laughs> sold on the sound by any stretch of the imagination. But, like, let's go ahead and just make this big. I'm going to add stomps right here. Right here. Let's go... Let's go and do this one. And it's gonna sound like this. Not so bad, not so bad. Let's do one more. Hey! Okay, I'm still kind of wanting to do something else with this theremin. This is insane, like how much I'm doing with this. But what about some more bit crushing? I feel like we've already tried bit crushing, but we haven't tried RC20 bit crushing. So. It's not so bad. I almost like want another instrument to do that line da, da, ba, 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 ba. why don't we do that why don't we do that and this could be like the verse iteration of it and we'll do like like a vocal chop or something that will just do that melody hey. not so bad we need like some kind of chord here. Yeah. Yeah. That's not so bad. Like I feel like I can, if I hear this again, if I ever decide to work on this again, I could probably figure out like what happens here that actually isn't like weird and ugly, but let's see how much time do I have? Love it. Two minutes. Okay, let's do some effects. <laughs> real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, let's just go ahead and get like crashes. 808 crash. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm still hating. I, I will be honest with you guys. I, these leads are 
They're not my best work. It's fine though. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, let's do like a sweep. That's actually cool. It's not what I was looking for, but I like it. Let's do some haze. I should like this male hay, but I would make it female because, you know, <laughs> girl power. Mom, hey! I would do maybe like. Like, hey! Like short, 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 short. Kind of ugly. Let me do one under it just so it's not so distorted and ugly. This track. <laughs> mm. Can I do like any other effects? Like any other little crashes? Like anything? This is cute. Little soft crash. She can go here. I can't even hear her though. Like any effects? Anything like fun? Come on, let's go. Let's go. I have like one minute left. Just let me see, let me see if there's anything fun in here. I like that actually. Time. Ah! Okay, fine, 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 fine. I am out of time. I am so out of time. Well, <laughs> this was um, this was something. You know, we made a beat. It was forty-five minutes. It had a theremin. It had violins, and it had an eight hundred eight clap. So let's see how it turned out. not like as terrible <laughs> as I thought it was gonna be it's actually not so bad you know and I actually like even like that 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 I like that lead melody I think it's pretty catchy I think the instruments that I have doing it I actually don't really hate the theremin now anymore maybe I would mess around with it with fresh ears again and I really actually like when the horns come in it feels like very powerful I think it's just they sound a little like dinky because I haven't really had a chance to go in and like master the glides in between the notes. So it sounds a little bit smoother. Cause right now it's like bum, 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 bum. And I would want it to be like ba da dun dun dun, have a little bit of a smoothness and pitch transition in between. So, but that would be not like a 45 minute track <laughs> whatsoever. So I think this is really, really good for how much I was freaking out and for getting theremin. <laughs> so success. All right, you guys, so that was it. That was my make a track by spinning the wheel challenge. I hope you guys had fun. I definitely had fun. And yeah, make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this, if you would like me to create more videos like this, doing different challenges. And yeah, make sure if you're not subscribed that you do hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of fun production and songwriting content on here. And on that note, I'm gonna go. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.